Today's selection is called Artificial Heart. What if I could tell you that one of the leading causes of deaths is heart disease? It's not a big shocker there. What if I told you that heart disease is, ir is reversible? You may be wondering how. You may be asking yourself, is this a chronic con isn't this a chronic condition? It can be if you let it. You may be wondering how can that be possible? Scientists now have been experimenting and conducting tests to grow artificial organs. This may be a temporary fix, but then when the heart the artificial heart dies, then what? Some may say get a replacement. I have a better solution. Self-examination. What do you mean self-examination? Have you looked inside and truly evaluated yourself? As you well know on one particular occasion, if you will turn to Mark chapter 7, you will see that the Pharisees and certain of the scribes saw some of Jesus' disciples eat bread with unwashed hands. So they immediately found fault. Down in verse 5, they asked why the disciples not walk according to tradition, but eat with unclean hands. Jesus answers, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Skip on down to verse 15. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. Have you examined your heart lately? Verse 21 and through 23. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lust, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile a man. Have you examined your heart lately? Book of James chapter 1 verses 19 through 24. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of haughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetting what manner of man he was. Have you forgotten who you are? Have you strayed from the reflection of Christ? Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 27, And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and etc. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Are you reflecting God's image today, or your own worldly image? Have you circumcised your heart? Romans chapter 3 verses 10 through 18 As it is written, There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asp is under their lips whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness their feet are swift to shed blood destruction and misery are in their ways and the way of peace have they not known there is no fear of god before their eyes have you examined your heart today 
Are you going to church once a week and doing the bare minimum in your walk with God? Is your faith lukewarm? Book of Revelations, chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Friends, have you examined your heart? Is there filth and pollution that needs to be cleansed? Psalm 51, verses 1 through 7, 9 and 10. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Is your faith wavering? Do you need faith restoration? Jesus is only a prayer away. You have the opportunity to ask God for a clean heart. You can be whiter than snow. This is my prayer for all of you today. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless your people, whether they be yours or not yours. Please multiply blessings upon all. And Father, help me in my own sin, trying to jump through hoops to try to please people just to get a job, which is wrong, trying to figure out everything my way and not your way. So please forgive me for that. I know you provide for me, and I trust you, Lord. And these people that I give these messages to, they trust you. In fact, I was told by a person today, yesterday that, they, that their wife really enjoyed my messages, and I didn't think anyone was listening. And forgive me for those sins. And I have taken too long to come on here and do another video. I say this to my shame, so forgive me. And... Give all the love unto your people. Protect our nation. There's a lot of tension going on in Syria and such. Please help all the people affected, which probably includes us, I would say. Please love us all and make us whiter than snow. Those beautiful words I heard sing during my baptism. Bring that beauty unto all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.